Hey everybody, Jennifer here and welcome to So Do You Like Beauty. I know it's been ages since I put a video on this channel, but I wanted to talk to you today about acne. So in 2019, I was trying all sorts of different products to help my face with acne and it actually stems back to 2018, where in the summer of 2018, I noticed I was breaking out like in this area mostly and it'd be like once a month, no big deal, like it's manageable. Then in the beginning of 2019 I decided to use the core silver soap and that product on its own worked well what happened was I was using that and my acne medication and my lotion and everything and that started to break out my face so then I stopped using that product went back to my old face wash which was a really good Korean brand face wash that I probably showed in a few other videos. Then, when I went back to that, my face started breaking out here specifically and I just could not have any control over it. So then I bought like a Mario Badescu like powder and everything and I started a new job. So I was constantly breaking out here, break out there, and it got to the point where I had no control over it. So I saw my dermatologist in May of 2000 and 19, what they recommended was like antibiotics, different face wash and everything like that. I had trouble with their prescription thing, so I did not have any antibiotics. I see them maybe a few months later and I tell them what's going on. And so what I did was I got down to four products. Basically I changed my lotion, I changed um, my face wash, kept my acne medication, and it helped a little bit, but I had extreme scarring. So then they said, well, what you may have to do is go on Accutane, because that will really eliminate the medication, but we'll see you again in a few more months. But the one big caveat there was, I ended up going and using the antibiotics, and that helped tremendously. So two months in with antibiotics, I was down to pretty much four products. My face wash, my two acne medications and my lotion and it helped so much so when I saw the um, dermatologist are like you know what we don't really need to put you on Accutane because you don't have the cystic acne anymore I did have some cystic acne and it was really bad so now I want to tell you <laughs> this is what worked for me keep the products on your face simple. Really try to avoid sampling this and that. Basically the spot treatments, it didn't work. Like I would even get desperate use rubbing alcohol and pimples, that kind of thing. If it won't pop, don't try to pop it. Cause like I have one right here that I could feel it. I don't even try to pop it. This guy, oh my God, he's a popper, but whatever. The products I use are, use it's Axone. So this is my daytime acne medicine. My nighttime acne medicine is different face gel. You can actually buy that in the store. My face lotions are down to Zerafi products. And the reason why I switched to that is before I used to use Uzerin, I have really dry skin, but this works just as well. It's under eye cream, daytime lotion, and I use their nighttime lotion as well. My face wash is Panoxyl, and it's very heavy duty because it is benzoyl peroxide. So when I started using it, I started off using it twice a day, then I use it once a day. And if your skin sensitive, like mine is too, you could do it like once every other day and just wash your face with water and that works just as well. If I break out, I use this twice a day. And the antibiotics really helped with the swelling and just helping my face catch up to everything. So now I really feel that my face is under control. Like, I mean, this is my worst case scenario here. I have a little bit of scarring on my face. And you know, when you have like my kind of complexion, anything could cause like discoloration, which isn't that bad. I mean, you could actually get it lasered off, which I really was considering at some point, but I mean, the scars really cleared up a lot. So I just wanted to share this with you because there's still hope that was just a really heavy duty few months where I constantly was just, it hurt like right here. It was unpleasant, but just wanted to share this journey with you because there's still hope. And I almost even took that route of Accutane. I know it's not called Accutane anymore. That's a really huge commitment. I was really ready for that because 
it basically dries you up from the inside out. I probably couldn't wear contacts anymore. I was consulting with my eye doctor and everything. So, so many options that I didn't, the rods didn't take. So I just wanna give you good news that I was able to control my acne for the most part with just simplifying my products that I use and visiting a dermatologist. And sometimes when you call your dermatologist, they're like, oh, the dermatologist isn't available. See if they have like another specialist that could actually see you because they don't see acne as like a high priority kind of thing. So ask about that if that's a possibility for you because I know that was an issue for me a few times when I've seen a dermatologist as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some good news, some hope for some products moving forward if you have acne like mine where it just the nodules, postules, they, they're they big, but they're not like tiny to where spot treatments help. So I hope this was helpful for you in some way. If you have questions, put them down below. I'd be happy to answer them as best as I can. Um, or if you have any acne tips, definitely put them on the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to So Do You Like Beauty. All of our social media is there. We also have a main channel. Everything's down below. Also that's not related to this video is from this point up until middle of March 2020, I am helping raise money for St. Baldrick's, which is a foundation that helps support research to find a cure for childhood cancer. And I'm going to put my personal link down below if you can make any contribution that would be most greatly appreciated. And please share that link as well because we want to do everything we can to help find a cure for that. So just wanted to share that as well. So you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. 2020 is going to be amazing. And I'm also going to do a lot more hair videos because I got only so much time with my hair and you'll see why. So until next time, you guys are the best. Love you all. Okay, bye. Thank you.